Okay guys, we got a trailer for Dune 2. It came out yesterday, I had so much going on yesterday. We're gonna finally watch it. I love the first Dune. Yeah, let's do this. It's breathtaking. When you see sand here, imagine water. If you dive in, wow. you can't reach That's the beautiful. bottom. Beautiful. You dive in. Yes, it's called swimming. <laughs> I don't I don't believe you. In the shadows of Arrakis lie many secrets. But the darkest of them all may remain. Hey. The end of oh, House of music. My father didn't believe in revenge. What if Paul Atreides were still alive? Austin Butler? God. Have you ever had a dream about your first ride? Looks unbelievable. Don't try to impress anyone. You're brave. Is he gonna ride one of the big sandworm things? Be simple. Be direct. Visuals are so good. Nothing fancy. I understand. Nothing fancy. God, this is. You will never lose I'm loving the black and white. Trees. We gave them something to hope for. That's not hope! May thy knife chip and shatter. Dune part two. Look at that cast. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Dune part two. I loved the first Dune. I loved it. The only thing wrong with the first Dune, in my opinion, is that when it ended, it felt very abrupt. And I knew, as soon as Dune Part 2 arrived, I would appreciate the first one, that one more. Because as sci-fi films go, I'd say Dune is pretty much a sci-fi masterpiece. The sound design in that film is so good. And this one looks like it's going to deliver all-out war, it looks like, from that trailer. Austin Butler... Looks nothing like I expected him to look like, but he looks great. Florence Pugh looks great. Zendaya, Timothy Chalamet, they all look so good. The cast is unbelievable. I'm definitely going to re-watch the first Dune before I watch this because the first Dune is so packed with world building and mythology and stuff you need to know. I've not read any of the Dune books, so when I first went into it, I had no idea what the fuck was going on, but I loved every second of it. And yeah, you got Javier Bardem in there, Josh Brolin. It just, first of all, the visuals, they're so dark, but in the most stunning way, the way Denny Villeneuve has a hand on the environments, the sand and everything like that, it's quite unbelievable that how the man makes sand look that good is quite frightening to be honest with you i've never seen sand like it in all my life and the, the mixtures of normal colors and black and white especially mainly in all of austin butler's scenes in the black and white that's going to be really cool and yeah dune 2 it's it's going to be good it's then you will know there's no way it can't be good the man he's behind a rival he's behind prisoners Dune. Didn't he do Blade Runner 2049 as well? The man is so good. So yeah, I am very, very excited for this film. I cannot wait to hear the sound of this film coming out of them IMAX speakers. But yeah, if you've watched Dune Part 2, 
fuck words. If you watched the Doom Part Two trailer, let me know your thought of it. If you haven't watched it, I'd, it's weird that you're here watching a trailer of watching someone watch a trailer that you've not watched the trailer of. That's a bit weird, but you know, be my guest. Yeah, it looks very very good. I'll catch you on the next one.